When discussing architectural software, the conversation often gravitates toward the direct comparison between ARCHICAD and Revit, frequently framed as a quest to determine which is ultimately better. This approach, however, overlooks the nuanced realities of the architectural practice and the distinct philosophies underpinning each platform. Instead of seeking a superior option, it's more productive to view these tools as different modes of transportation, each designed to excel in specific context. Think of it this way, both can take you from point A to point B, from initial design concept to completed construction documents, but they achieve this journey through fundamentally different means. Imagine Archica as a sleek, high-performance motorbike. It offers speed, agility and direct connection to the design process, allowing for rapid iteration and more intuitive creative flow. Revit, on the other hand, embodies the characteristics of a robust and versatile car. While perhaps not as nimble in its initial stages, it provides substantial capacity for information management, a more custom workflow and the ability to handle complex projects with a high degree of data integration. For further perspective, we can consider Alacad as a reliable, less sophisticated bicycle. Anyone can ride it and it is still capable of getting you to your destination, but with significantly less speed and carrying capacity. The crucial point is that neither the motorbike nor the car is inherently better. Their suitability depends entirely on the rider's preferences. The terrain of journey, the specific project type and complexity, and the amount of cargo they need to carry, the level of information and the documentation required. Similarly, the choice between Archicad and Revit is not a matter of objective superiority, but rather a question of alignment with individual preferences, office standards and the specific demands of the project. There is no universally correct answer. The optimal choice is deeply rooted in the understanding of your own needs and the way your practice approaches architectural endeavors. Archicad's strength lies in its rapid and responsive design environment. Like a motorbike waving through the traffic, it allows architects to quickly translate conceptual ideas into a tangible digital model. Its intuitive interface and emphasis on direct manipulation foster a fluid design process, enabling faster iterations and more immediate connection between the designer's intent and the software's output. This agility makes Archicad particularly well suited for projects where speed and creative exploration are paramount, such as early stage design, competitions and smaller scale projects with tight deadlines, although Archicad is more than capable of handling mega projects, same as Revit. The software's ability to quickly generate visualizations and explore design options empowers architects to make informed decisions early in the process. Beyond its speed and modeling, the Archicad often carries a certain cool factor, stemming from its reputation for being more intuitive and user-friendly. Archicad was initially launched on Apple Lisa in 1987, 13 years before Revit. Many users find its interface and workflow to be more closely aligned with the natural architectural design process, allowing for more seamless transition from concept to model. This can lead to more enjoyable and less cumbersome design experience, particularly for architects who prioritize a visually driven and interactive approach to their work. Furthermore, the learning curve for those transitioning from AutoCAD and SketchUp is generally less steep with Archicad compared to Revit. On the other hand, core philosophy behind Revit was encapsulated in its name, a contraction of revise instantly. At the heart of Revit is a parametric change propagation engine that relied on a new technology, context-driven parametrics that was more scalable than the variational and history-driven parametrics used in mechanical CAD software. The term parametric building model was adapted to reflect the fact that changes to the parameters draw the whole building model and associated documentation, not just individual components. Revit's parametric nature, coupled with its encouragement of custom family creation, allow offices to tailor their standards to the specific complexities of their projects. This flexibility enables the creation and expansion of libraries as projects' demands evolve. 
Furthermore, a thriving industry of custom Revit add-ins extends the software capabilities, allowing for alignment with diverse workflows and project requirements. It is harder to learn, but once you get it, sky's the limit. Revit, like a versatile car, offers a comprehensive platform beyond architectural modeling, integrating various engineering disciplines and analysis tools. Its native capabilities and Autodesk connections provide a holistic design approach. Dynamo integration allows visual programming for automation and complex geometry, invaluable for tasks like facade optimization and structural framing. For structural engineering, Revit provides tools for design, analysis and documentation within BIM, integrating with analysis software. Revit MEP offers discipline-specific tools for mechanical, electrical and plumbing systems, integrated within the central model for coordination and clash detection. Energy efficiency is addressed through analysis capabilities and interoperability. Revit seamlessly integrates with Twinmotion for easy, high-quality visualizations. This integration facilitates a collaborative data-rich process, enabling architects and engineers to work concurrently on a single model, streamlining workflows and improving building design efficiency. It's crucial to reiterate that there is no universally right or correct answer. Both ARCHICAD and Revit are powerful and capable software packages that cater to different needs and preferences within the architectural profession. Ultimately, the choice between ARCHICAD and Revit is deeply personal and linked to your individual design philosophy. Architects who value speed, agility and more intuitive visually driven design process might find ARCHICAD to be more naturally fit. On the other hand, those who prioritize customizability, parametric modeling, automation and one software that does it all might gravitate towards Revit. I hope this philosophical overview helped. Have a great day and see you in the next video.